Reddit. What's an unknown fact that could save your life? The best defense against an aggressive bear is to get some sort of large object, like a large tree, or car, and just keep moving around it keeping it between you and the bear until they get bored and leave. Bears are way faster than people in straightaways but cannot maneuver around the object as quickly due to how big they are. Do not try and climb the tree. Just keep it between you and them. This is known as the squirrel defense. Now if there are two bears, I thought you meant grab an actual tree or car. I mean. If you can, you should probably go ahead and do that. At that point, just fight the bear. Never give an unconscious diabetic insulin. Please, it's quite likely to kill them. I was told, if in doubt, give them sugar. A low blood sugar person, hypoglycemia, needs the sugar. So problem solved. High blood sugar person, hypoglycemia, doesn't want sugar. However going higher won't create any more problems than they are already in. If they are unconscious, you wouldn't want to give them anything by mouth. They aren't able to protect their airway and it could lead to bigger problems. I'm a paramedic and we have this amazing medicine called D10, which is essentially sugar water in IV form. And it amazes me every single time I see it. Basically you give it and within a few minutes, that patient who was unresponsive is now talking to you and wondering, what the in the hell you're doing there? Drug users or alcoholics often use in the same places slash with the same people slash around the same time of day so your body is conditioned to that and when you are in these familiar situations your body is basically preparing for you to use drugs. When you switch up your normal routine your tolerance is actually lower because your body wasn't triggered by your surroundings. This is important to consider to prevent people from overdosing by using a similar amount as normal in a situation where their tolerance wouldn't be the same. Situational specificity of tolerance effect. Set and setting play a huge role in druggery. Your mindset and surroundings. I could smoke a joint in my living room and barely notice it. Or I could smoke a pinch hit in public and end up hiding in a bathroom stall checking my credit score. If you get caught in a rip current and dragged out towards sea, don't try to swim against it. Swim parallel to the beach till you get out of the current and then make your way to shore. Or better yet, if you see one narrow section of the water that's unusually still, as in there's a visible break in the middle of a wave, don't swim in it. Edit. The reason is that this is how you identify the rip current in the first place. I feel like I take seeing this online for granted. I see it all the time. But I just had a friend die on spring break by being caught out in the water and I can't help but think he might still be alive. If he knew how to better handle it. If someone is stabbed or punctured by a sharp object, leave it inside. Do not. Absolutely do not. Try to pull it out. Leave the object in until help arrives. Pulling it out will only double the damage. The object can considerably reduce and stop the flow of blood by exerting pressure on the injured area. The moment you pull it out, blood flow is likely to increase. Too late for that, but it's okay. I'll just put it back. As long as it's in the general area it should be okay and then, when the paramedics get there just say the person was stabbed twice if they are not awake. We get cranky about red eye reflex in photos, but seeing that red reflection in a flash photo is good. That slight bouncing off the nice red back of your eye and back out the pupil. If you see the pupil reflecting white in a picture of a human, especially in children, get them to an eye doctor fast. If no reflection, no worries. That's also normal. White reflection in a human eye means that either the retina has turned white, say, from loss of blood, or that there is something else in the eye in front of the retina that is reflecting instead. Either is very bad, but if there is something else in the eye reflecting white it's unfortunately good odds that it's cancer in the eye. Eye cancer is very bad since the eye connects to the brain by the optic nerve. If cancer isn't caught quickly it can go up the optic nerve to the brain and cancer metastasized to the brain has poor chance of survival. If you smell a fish smell in your house, some people also report a urine-like smell. For no reason. 9 times out of 10 it means there's an electrical fire. OMFG I randomly smelled urine in my kitchen next to my stove last week and was so fucking confused I'm so glad nothing happened but now I know. I'd get that checked out. I found this out because I was smelling fish on and off for like more than a week. First dismissed it as our sucky plumbing messing up, went a bit without noticing it, then it came back. Finally googled it, later found a plug that was not very visible almost completely melted and shooting out sparks when the air conditioner turned on. 
If someone's trying to kidnap you, your chance of survival drops by 50% once you get in a vehicle and even more once you reach your destination. I saw a guy on TV once say this when I was a kid. I don't remember the guy. I don't remember the show. But I remember that he was on a panel and he stood up, took several steps forward, pointed at the audience and said never ever go to the second location. Never, ever, go, to the second location. Do whatever you have to do to stay where you are. That really stuck with me, clearly. Message received. If giving aspirin to someone having a heart attack, make sure they chew it. It works far faster that way. And keep it held in their mouth. Very important. Specifically, keep it held under your tongue. The bottom of your mouth has the thinnest barrier to the bloodstream. Probably said already but, bad CPR is better than no. Even if you're unskilled, you literally cannot make the person more dead, as being dead is what predicates CPR. If you have a puncture wound to the chest or abdomen, the first thing you should do is place a non-porous, think plastic bag, object over the wound. It will help prevent tension pneumothorax. A tourniquet is quite simple to put on and can save a life if there is no other option. Place close to the site or near, not on, a joint. Never remove a tourniquet once placed, as clots can travel to the brain and lungs. Also mark the time you put it on. If you're at an accident scene and have no medical training, something you can do is collect information and help calm victims. This is quite helpful as it assists the paramedics with triage and keeps potential injured person's heart rates down. Alternatively, learn how to hold C-spine. If you're ever underwater and can't tell which way is up, knocked around by a wave, just blow a few bubbles out as they always go up. Similar concept if you're in an avalanche and you're completely covered with snow, spit, and start climbing in the opposite direction it falls. These kinds of facts make me positive I will die in one of these situations, if I get into one, because I would never think of shit like this. I'd get confused, try to spit underwater and drown. A good way to detect if somebody is having a stroke is to have them repeat a sentence back to you. A good sentence that everybody should be able to do is, Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. If it's slurred, get some medical attention real quick. If someone is in a serious motorcycle slash bicycle slash etc accident do not remove their helmet. Only a trained professional should do this. They probably can't breathe. Yes. They probably can't do a lot of things, such as support the weight of their head because their spine is broken. Leave the helmet, yeah. The first thing people will do during an emergency is panic, if you're first on scene as a bystander. The best thing you can do is not panic and delegate tasks. Tell an individual to call 911, another one or two to be on crowd control. Never try to do something you haven't been trained on, but never blame yourself when something goes wrong. If you get to the point where CPR is necessary, know that that person has like 5% chance of making it anyway. Not for people but still. Raisins, grapes and avocados are just as bad, if not worse for dogs than chocolate. I did not learn this until 6 months after I got my first puppy. Due to IDK we used to have an avocado tree in our front yard when I was a kid, and a black lab we could not stop eating those things. After a while we gave up trying. He lived to 13 and was the fattest fucking dog you have ever seen. Avocados aren't toxic to dogs, they're just liable to swallow the seeds, which will cause intestinal blockage. If you get kidnapped try to leave as much traces of yourself behind as you can. For example leave bits of clothing behind or scratch your arms a lot to leave dead skin behind. This way you increase your chances that a search dog could pick up your scent and find you. Just pee and spit on everything so they can bloodhound the shit out of your trail. Or father give me sight. Both stay in alive and another one bites the dust have the ideal rhythm to follow when performing chest compressions. CPR. It might not be a good idea to sing the second one out loud though. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. Michael Scott. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. Michael Scott. Wayne Gretzky. This is a New Zealand specific one, but all emergency numbers work here. The official number is 111. But 999-000-911 ETC will all work. This is so that tourists can still reach emergency services easily. Does the IT crowd one work? Take everything here with a grain of salt. Most people here are not medical experts. Double check all of these. What kind of salt? Are you a salt expert?
People having seizures cannot swallow their tongue. Do not put anything in their mouth. I had to stop people from doing this to someone who was seizing less than a month ago. I apparently should have also discouraged them from helping the person to her feet as soon as she came around, because she immediately seized again and would have fallen on her head if someone hadn't caught her. She was lucky. I also had to tell the bartender who was standing 5 feet away and gawking to call 911. Good god, that was a shit show. Luckily I had a whiskey waiting for me as soon as things calmed down, but come on. People, you have been visited by the happy husky. Like the video and you will experience happiness within the next 24 hours. PG. On top, food chain, won't stop, new game, boss box that blue haze, one lock, two chains, no bras, two bays, mic drop, new stage, lights in my rear view, five cops, full race, faster than a Tesla, they say I'm exhausted.